A relic from the attack on Pearl Harbor has arrived at its new home here in Colorado. It will eventually be housed at the Colorado Freedom Memorial in Aurora. I'm Denver 7's Wanye Reese out here at DIA. Early Tuesday morning, this plane right behind me brought a very special piece of history to the state of Colorado. It's actually a steel piece from the USS Arizona, and that's a ship that was active during the attacks on Pearl Harbor. It was a very solemn ceremony that we saw today as they let off that dark wooden crate. Let's go ahead and take you into what happened. 41 Coloradans died at Pearl Harbor. 32 are entombed on the Arizona. The steel relic will be going to the Colorado Freedom Memorial in Aurora. Now the steel piece will be a part of the future education and visitor center once that is finished being built. We got a chance beforehand to go ahead and talk with organizers about what this means to the community. And this is what they had to say. Take a listen. The symbolism of it is, is that it's the way you welcome it to its new environment by upon its first arrival, opening up in our case, this crate and have the steel breathe in its new surroundings. And likewise for the 32 on Arizona from Colorado, symbolically through this steel, welcome them back home. And one of the most powerful moments that we saw this morning, you see in the video a young lady going up to the crate and kissing that crate. That's Nikki Stratton. Her grandfather was actually in the USS Arizona, and he's a Pearl Harbor survivor. If you're wanting to go ahead and take a look at the steel relic, you're going to have a chance to see it very, very soon. You'll be able to see it Veterans Day weekend, and we'll be sure to have that information posted on our website at denver7.com when you're allowed to go ahead and see it. Reporting at DIA, I'm Wanye Reese, Denver 7.